This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. A lot of people have trouble subtracting, let's say from 100 or 1,000 or 10,000, like a 1 or a 5 or something with a bunch of zeros afterwards because of all the borrowing. So here's a slick and easy way to do it. Let's take 1,000 minus 467. What you can do with any subtraction problem is you could add or subtract the same number to the top and bottom and then do your subtraction. So the trick I'm going to use is I'm just going to subtract one and just so you see what I'm doing I'm going to write down. I'm going to subtract one from both the top number and the bottom number and I'm going to make a new subtraction problem. So one less than a thousand is just 999 minus and then we would also have to subtract one from 467, so that's 466. Now when you do that subtraction, there's no borrowing. In fact, it's easy to go left to right. 533, and that's our answer. So 1,000 minus 467 is 533. And you could verify that by go ahead and adding 533 plus 467. I usually don't bother checking my um, subtraction, but it doesn't hurt, so let's quickly do that. What's 533 plus 467? Let's just go traditional from right to left. 3 plus 7 is 10. I'm going to put 0, carry the 1. Oops. And then 10 again, carry the 1, and we have 1,000. So you can see that that is the right answer. All right, let's try another problem. All right, this time let's subtract from 10,000. So it's easy to take one away from each of these. If you want, you could put that little minus one to remind yourself what you're doing. So this would give you 9999 minus. And what really happens here, you might notice, when you subtract one, it just changes the, the units digit here from an 8 to a 7, right, if you subtract one. And now the arithmetic's pretty simple. You have 2, 3, 7, 2, and you're done. So that is the answer to this problem, 2, 3, 7, 2. You could also do this if they aren't just um, not a 1 in front. You could do it for like 5,000 minus something as well. So let's say I took 5,000 minus 2, 6, 9, 1. And I could subtract 1 from each of these. Again, making this 4, 9, 9, 9. And subtract 1 here. That makes it 2, 6, 9, 0. And then the subtraction becomes pretty simple. 4 minus 2 is 2, 3, 0, 9. So this is useful when you have a bunch of extra zeros at the end of a number, so just a single digit with a bunch of zeros at the end. This is a quick and easy way to subtract. The whole idea, of course, being that if you subtract one from 5,000, you're going to have all these nines, which means you're never going to have to borrow from a nine because none of the other digits could possibly be bigger than a nine. All right, so have fun. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.